Hi guys, so today I'm going to uh, make a short review about the Jet Laser PLE Mini uh, 520 nanometers. This model is the 1 watt model. So I'm doing an unboxing right now. This isn't the original case that it comes with. Uh, the original ones comes in a like a cardboard box uh, with a little bit like uh, bubble wraps around it. Right, so the laser comes in three main parts. The first one is the laser housing itself, which have like a focus ring on the top. Second one is the extension for the 18650 batteries. And the last one is the end cap, which has a safety switch on the back. Right now, I'm about to put in the 18650 batteries, but without the extension, but you can also put in the 18350 battery as well, but I don't have those. Also, I don't see any reason why you want to put in the 18350 batteries. It has less capacity and also it's like less produced, so it's more expensive than the 18650. Uh, here's the detailed shots of the laser itself. And I have to say the build quality is amazing. It feels comfortable in my hands and doesn't have any like sharp edges on the housing. Here is the original accessories that it comes with. The first one is the neodymium magnets for converting the flat top cell to the button top cell. The second one is like the keychain, the Caribbeaner. I don't know why it gave me that. And the final one is the yeah battery charger, which I recommend to just buy an aftermarket one. So here's my mistake, my my first mistake actually is I got the 18650 with the protection circuit on the bottom. So as expected, it's slightly taller than the normal one. With a lot of force, I can still able to screw it in, but it might be damaging the spring. I'm not sure, or maybe not. Also, it leaves a little bit of a gap on the back as well. But other than that, you can still use it normally, just like an unprotected cell. And here is me fitting the unprotected 18650, which they designed it to be fitted in the housing. Much, much easier to screw it in. So here's my second mistake. I often forgot to uh, open the protective cap from the top of the laser when I'm using it. Um, the inside also have the aluminum foil, which it's probably not good because when I shine the laser, it's probably reflecting back into the laser diode itself and ended up damaging it. Also a slight problem with the cap when using the laser is the cap will uh, going to bend back to the closing position uh, after some time. So I'm suggesting some like locking mechanics on the cap so it doesn't like close back. Uh, also another nice feature is the red uh, battery indicator. It's pretty useful when you have a uh, laser safety glasses that blocked out the blue and the green light. And here is the a little uh, sample footage of the laser. Moving on from the indoor shots to the outdoor shot of the laser. And from looking at it and comparing it to my 3 watts uh, 445 nanometer laser, and I have to say it doesn't really looks brighter than the blue laser. 
For me, it's pretty much the exact same brightness. And that's pretty much the whole review. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment and I'll try to reply to all of it. Thank you.